Though building a mobile application may sound impossible, we're here to show you how simple it is to build your own mobile app using Thunkable. This course is made up of four video lessons. This video, Getting Started with Thunkable, How to Design a Thunkable App, How to Connect a Thunkable App to a Data Source, and How to Make a Thunkable App Interactive with Blocks. The principles you learn in this course will set you up with the foundation you need to build all sorts of data-driven apps on Thunkable, whether it's sharing sales data with your team, logging lab results, or conducting surveys in the field, you'll be able to take any existing business processes that run on a spreadsheet and turn them into an app. In this first lesson, you'll get an overview of the Thunkable platform as we build a simple app that allows users to navigate from one screen to another. As the course progresses, we'll expand the functionality of our app, working towards an employee directory app. Follow along and complete the steps in your own Thunkable project, and by the end of this course, you'll have designed, developed, and tested an impressive employee directory app with Thunkable in just 30 minutes. Let's get building. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to add visual components to an app, customize the look of visual components, program your components to complete a task, and preview your app. We'll start here on the projects page. If you aren't here, click the Thunkable logo in the upper left corner of your page. Each app project you create is represented by a tile. Let's create a new project by clicking Create New App. First, we need to give our project a name. We're going to build a Thunkable employee directory app, but if you prefer, you can follow along and build an app that catalogs any other information. Identify the most appropriate categories for your app, Ensure the box next to Use the Drag and Drop Builder is checked. Click Create. We'll start here on the Design tab. This is where we build the user interface of the app, which is how the app looks and feels. This first screen will be our home screen, where employees can view a list of their colleagues. Let's add a label to the screen to identify it. On the left-hand side of the Design tab, you'll see the Components Library. From here, you can select User Interface Components and drag and drop them onto your app screens. Let's drag a label onto the home screen. Now let's modify the text that is displayed in our label. Clicking an on-screen component makes the Properties panel for that specific component available. This is where we can change the label's text. To keep our components organized, let's rename this label. This will be critical as we continue to add more components to our app. Click where it says Label 1 at the top of the Properties panel and rename the label. We recommend establishing a naming pattern that you maintain throughout your project to keep you organized. Let's go ahead and use the pattern component type, in this case label, Label Text. We're off to a great start. Now, let's add a second screen to the project. When an employee selects a colleague on the home screen, it will take them to this second screen to display their colleague's details. Click the plus sign next to your first screen. Again, we recommend organizing your components to make it easier to navigate your component tree, so let's rename them. Stick with the same naming pattern you used previously. For us, that's component type, in this case screen, screen name. Great, now once the user has reviewed the details of their selected colleague, they need a way to get back to the Thunkable Team home screen. Drag and drop a button to the employee details screen. You can change the background color of the button to match your brand colors. Then let's change the text that appears on the button. Now let's resize and reposition it. And of course, we want to rename it. Thunkable enables you to preview your app building progress in real time. Click the Web Preview button in the upper right to see the app you've built so far. When you click on the Back button, you'll find it doesn't do anything. That's because we need to develop the app's functionality and define how it should behave using blocks. Click the Back to Editing button and then navigate to the Blocks tab. Now, let's add some functionality to the button we just created to take our user to the Thunkable Team home screen when it is tapped or clicked. Ensure that the Employee Profile screen is highlighted under the project name. Each screen has its own blocks page for you to develop on. In the upper left corner is the component tree, a list of all the screen's user interface components. Click the name of a component in the component tree to open its corresponding block drawer, in this case, our back button. Developing app actions in Thunkable is done with these blocks. Each block is programmed to do a specific action, and when you combine them, it tells the app what to do. 
The action we want to program now is to take the user to the team home screen when they click this button. Let's drop this first block into the workspace. These yellow blocks are called events, and they tell the app how to react based on the user's behavior, in this case, when they click the back button. Each of these options under the core heading is a drawer of commonly used blocks that connect with the component blocks we just looked at. Click Control, drag the Navigate To block into your workspace, and drop it within the event block you added a moment ago. In the drop-down menu within the Navigate To block, ensure the Team screen is selected. The block combination you just created will do the following. When button back is clicked, take the user to the team screen. Let's test it again now that we've added blocks. Click the web preview button. Click on the back button you designed and developed. Pretty impressive, eh? Congratulations, you just developed your first simple Funkable app. Here's a quick summary of all the things you're now able to do. Add visual components to an app. Customize the look of visual components. Program your components to complete a task, and preview your app. Thanks for tuning in for getting started with Thunkable. Join us for the next video in the How to Build Your First Thunkable App course, How to Design a Thunkable App, where we'll expand on this simple app with additional UI components. And remember, if you can think it, you can thunk it. <laughs>